Hello, Charles Folkart. April 26, 2017. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for supporting this channel. Telling the truth comes at a cost, folks. I want to thank you for sharing in that cost. This video is on MGTOW, the MGTOW movement. Men going their own way. And why this movement, this idea now, this new paradigm for the men, MGTOW, men going their own way, is harmful to the white race. I'm not going to go in very deep here on this video. I'm only going to touch um, a few points and then uh, I'll get into it more later to follow. So let's go have a look, shall we? In today's modern age, if any man were to ever ask me what my thoughts on marriage were and if they came to me for advice on marriage or any idea concerning marriage, my main response would probably be, do not get married. Do not. Here's why. All right, now I will say here that if any man alive has the right to be a MGTOW man, it's me, okay? I may be exaggerating there, but only a little bit. I document three women in my life that they made it very difficult for me to survive, but I did survive. Then there was another woman who I went to battle with, falsely accusing me with the approbation of the Montana legal system all the way to the Montana Supreme Court twice. So I've had dealings with four separate women, and if I add some more women in, which I will do in future videos, there's probably five or six women in my life that has made me become a MGTOW man. But there's a catch, and I'll talk about that in the next video. But I do want to mention that I talk about patriarchy. Patriarchy. We've lost patriarchy in the Western world. They still have it in South Korea, Japan, and other parts of Asia. What happens in the Western world will never happen in Japan or South Korea or the other Asian nations I've lived in and been to. doesn't happen, folks. The women don't have control of those cultures, and that's why there's not near as much as many problems there. There's not near as much family splitting up. Yes, they may be still together and they don't want to be, but they don't. You create more turmoil, more havoc, more problems when you split up. Yes, there's a problem with the husband and the wife and it does affect the children, but divorce affects the children, in my opinion, worse. And my parents divorced when I was 10, so I grew up without a father. I did everything I could not to have a divorce. I was the one that went the extra mile, not the ex-wife. She was the one who filed 70% divorces are filed by women. And I'm not going to go into that too much in this video, but folks, we've lost patriarchy. I discussed that. What I went through with these three women and the court system, most men shoot themselves, commit suicide, or kill someone else, or become alcoholic. I didn't do that. Instead, I sat down and I wrote a book. This book, Deadbeat Dad, has been censored by both Lulu and Amazon. It's now back online. You can buy it. And you ask me, why should I buy your book, Charles? You're always pushing your book. Put this book into the hands of a young man who's going through a divorce. And maybe when he reads the chapter on contemplating suicide, he'll change his mind. And maybe give this to a man who's just married or about to get married. He'll have a heads up as to what could happen to him. And he'll think about marriage more than he would otherwise. And he can take precautions to make sure that what happened to me and other men don't happen to him. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. You can support this channel by getting your hands on this book 
and getting it into the hands of your friends. There's a lot here, folks. I'm going to put, I wish I had the reviews that you could see on Amazon and Lulu. They've been removed. They were all positive reviews, folks. Anyway, thanks for watching. And may the grace of God, our Father, restore the patriarchic system back to our Western culture. And in the next video, I will talk about why MGTOW is harmful to the white race. See you.